Hey everybody, and today we're we'll focusing on how to paint the, the sorry about that, the ECOG models for the Grim Mirror. The Grim Mirror, like this one, is basically the wizard or the only psyker for Leagues of OTAN that came out recently. So, for this, we're going to start off with the servitors. I may do Grim Mirror in a, in, a, in a later video, or a future video, but I still gotta finish building him. So, all we're going to do is we're going to start off with the ECOG armor. For this, all we're going to use is Caliban Green. You may notice I reuse color of Caliban Green, but it's good to have another base coat so that way it's a solid. And this is just a spare table. Do not do this on your table whatsoever. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the servitors. So it's kind of like a servitor model almost. So for this, just make sure wherever I base coated the gold, you have to base around the armor. So that way, you can you can still separate the gold and clean up the edges. And also be kind of careful about this. And again, if you want to, usually this armor is like not really gold, but I'm just going to leave it gold for my custom league. Okay, that's the Caliban Green done. Alright, our gold is already done, so basically we're going to skip the gold part, so we're going to highlight them later, but first we're going to paint the gun. So, for the little gun, because it's a little hover robot, it has it right here. So for this, all we're going to do is we're going to use a good old, a good old base coat of a bad and black. So, take some of the bad and black. I'm not going to be thinning this down as long as you take very little. Okay, so what we're going to do right here is we're going to take the, see, we're going to take, oh, let me change my light. There we go. If you look right here, we're going to paint around the gold, but don't worry, there's like a little rim that meets that doesn't meet the gold, so right about here. And all over the gun. So for right here, also this part right here. And one little fact, well, I'm just going to talk while I'm doing this. One little fact that many people don't know is that for those of you that they, that play Tau, believe it or not, the, the Tau Empire got most of their technology from the Leagues of OTAN. Like this guy, like the, like the dwarves or stuff. So I made a joke, since the Tau enlists, you know, the members of the Kroot. So I said a joke where basically, like, we're Leagues of... Or Leagues of Votan, like who gets jealous, the crew or Leagues of Votan when working with the Tau, because, you know, obviously Leagues of Votan gave the Tau their most of their weaponry. So I said a joke. Imagine if the crew were, and imagine if the crew and the Tau were on Jerry Springer, and then, uh, what was it? Oh, and the Tau are the security guard trying to break it up, and all the other 40k factions are going, Jerry, Jerry. Again, it might be a bad joke, but I just thought about it when I said it when, the, when they first came out, when I first heard that. And for black, uh, we're also going to paint the cables. And don't worry if you hit any of the armor, you can just fix it later. The cable's right here. Okay. So, with that done, uh, our Caliban green is still wet right here, so we're going to move to our small layer brush. It's not a small, sorry. it's a size 5-0, but you might need a, a small layer brush for this if you're using Citadel brushes. Take some of that. So if you notice, some of the gold trim has still hit some of the armor right here. So all we're going to do, we're going to fix that. There we go. Alright, now with that armor done, so all we're going to do is we're going to focus on painting the sil on base coating the silver. For this, we're going to use lead belcher. So, all we're going to do, take some lead belcher onto our brush. This is the same brush I'm using. So, all we're going to do is we're going to apply it all and just you can apply it to the crest if you want. But for this, I'm going to leave the crest my uh, my 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 my, own, my custom clan color. So, all we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to base coat the little gun right here in the muzzle, the barrel. And also the bullets, oh, never mind. 
And I'm sorry, let's change our mind. So let's paint the helm on this guy as well, the crest. Little eagle crest. Okay, there we go. All right, now, for basically, for the other metallics, um, you, you do have to paint the little, like, uh, like mechanical, like, dome looking, like a mechanical dome looking like thing right here. So, I already applied a base coat of this earlier, but for this, I'm gonna use, we're gonna use Brass Scorpion. So, what we're gonna do take some Brass Scorpion out of the pint pot. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the, well, the dome right here. With that done, all we're gonna do is what else? Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna paint the the barrel where the bullets are. So, uh, all we're gonna use for this is we're gonna use a different metallic to give some more depth ratiation. We're gonna go with Rune Lord Brass. I don't care. I don't care where. Just I don't care where. Okay. So after we check up our, meta our metallics, so take some Rune Lord Brass. And for this, we're going to paint it onto the bar on the barrel of the gun. Sorry about that. Right here. And as you can see, even and the reason why I like using Rude Lord Brass for McKen is because it adds a little different and uh, differentiation. Sorry about that. I can't really pronounce that word. Differentiation to the model. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I almost forgot this. I almost missed this. I still have to fix one on the right here. Sorry about that. This is with the Caliban Greek over there. It was still wet. There we go. All right. Uh, we're going to go on to highlighting the brass scorpion that we, that we painted. We don't really need a wash, but you could if you want to, but then it's going to really dull down the metallic, which is a common effect that people uh, mistake for. But again, it's not their fault. It's just a, co it's just a common thing. Where did I put it? Uh, pardon me just a second. <clears throat> Okay, I apologize about that. I had to make sure I found the right paint. For this, for the highlight for the Brass Scorpion, I couldn't find my Sycorax Bronze. I mean, I still have it, but I can't really find it right now. So for this, we're gonna use a five, we're gonna use a highlight of Hashuk Copper. If you don't have Hashuk Copper, you could have used Sycorax Bronze. I would've used Sycorax Bronze, but I can't find my paint pot right now. Oh, sorry about that, a little too much on my brush. A little chunky, so you do have to thin it down because sometimes the little paints do get chunky, but don't worry, it's not necessarily their fault. It just usually varies. Thin down with a little bit of water. It may sound weird thinning down with water, but it's actually a really common technique on how people thin down their metallic, just not too much, or else you'll lose the metallic. So, what we're gonna do. Very good. All right, so, with that highlight, with that crest high, with that dome highlighted, so this we're going to paint the rest of the gold. So basically what I mean by this is that there's gold right here on the plates, right? Here. There's gold right here on the plates. So I'm going to get the, my gold right now. I'm going to use Retributor Armor. So basically all I'm going to do is we're going to take this, put some gold right here. So you're only going to follow the, where the symbols are. So right here, be a little difficult, but don't worry. Just keep your, just take your time and take it easy. Yeah. 
And if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just base coating some of the gold where sometimes where there's paint strokes underneath the previous base coat that the Caliban green from earlier. From yesterday when I've tried painting this. Okay, that's the gold done for base coating. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna start highlighting the, the ECOG armor. For this, you don't really need a wash. I mean, there's only a few recesses and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna start highlighting. For this, we're gonna use Warpstone Glow. So around the edges, it may be a little difficult, but don't worry. Oh, sorry, let me make sure there's a little bit of gold in my brush. Let me get it off. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So, all we're gonna do, so we're gonna take Warpstone Glow. We're not gonna thin this out because we're gonna use very, 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 very little. So, take some on your brush, throw it around so you get a nice fine point. Okay, so all we're gonna do, we're gonna follow the edges. So all we're gonna do, you don't have to really do the edges right here. You can go on the full panel where the side is right here. And for this, all we're going to do is going to highlight the edges. So let me get, open up my brush a little bit. Now I do, I am making mistakes, but don't worry. You can decide that you can just fix them later on. Now, for this is really going to be difficult, but for this, all we're going to do is we're going to hide the edges around the gold on the plate, breastplate. So, we're right here. Sorry about that. Let me bring it to the camera. Kind of hard to see, but don't worry. This is exactly what we want. You want it to be kind of subtle. All right, that's the green highlighted. Okay, so you may notice we made some mistakes, so we're gonna go back with our Caliban green. So, even though this is a small model, it still requires a lot of intricate like and handling and stuff like that. So we're gonna thin out, we're gonna this, help cut our with the highlights in half. So that this one is too big, some Caliban green. As well for this one as well. All right, so perfect. All right, now all we're gonna do is gonna start washing our washing our metallics, and by that basically we're gonna add shade. So uh, I'm gonna grab a this brush right here. It's a uh, zero brush, flat brush from uh, Fine Detail. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint. Is we're gonna shade the metal first. For the metal, all we're gonna use. Where is it? Oh, sorry about that. All we're gonna need for the for the metal is uh, is Nolan oil. Oh, here it is. No, no. So, all we're gonna do, take something, open the paint pot, that's what we're gonna do. So, I'll take a little bit of wash, not too much. So that way it can help bring some definition to the, to the metallics. For this, only use the Nolan oil on the silver. You could use it on the gold, but it's not gonna get that natural gold look. And also, you can use this on the Rune Lord brass as well. Okay, there we go. Alright, last thing we're going to do is to start highlighting the gold. But first we need to add a wash to our gold. For this, we're going to be using a good old uh, good old Reichland Flesh Shade. If you don't have Reichland Flesh Shade, you could use, of course you use Agrax Earth Shade, but I prefer Reichland Flesh Shade because I prefer the warmth that it adds to the gold. Shake up the wash, always make sure to shake up your paints. So, all we're going to do, take some Reichland Flesh Shade. We're not going to be putting this on the table or whatever because it's going to use very little. So, all we're going to do, you don't need very much wash because the, the details are kind of intricate. But look, if you see right here, add this little warmth to it. 
See, as you can see, it's not only shading the gold, it adds like that nice golden hue, which is the which is a little warmth or red or whatever. And on the plate right here, it's going to be kind of difficult, but do not worry. You can just use the same brush. All right, that's the gold uh, shaded. And believe it or not, we can start highlighting the gold right now because we're looking to get them in the recesses and not on the flat parts. For this, we're going to use go back to Retributor Armor. So, okay, Retributor Armor. So all we're going to do, take some, put them on the plate, make sure that there's not a bit of too big chunks on our brush. Good. So all we're going to do right here is we're going to shade the flat areas. It's going to highlight the flat areas. So for this, all we're going to do, going to highlight where you see the uh, flat, flat bits of gold right here. So all we're going to do is going to start highlighting. But if you don't want to use Retributor Armor at this stage, you could of course just skip to Liberator Gold. But I prefer to use uh, the base code, just that way you can get the gold color back up. So that way the blends of the colors will look very, will look very, will look very uh, unified. All right, that's the gold done. All right, so we're not gonna highlight the black because you can just highlight, you can just leave it like that or the Rune Lord Brass. So for this, that basically concludes our video. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Keep in mind, this, uh, this is kind of up to a parade ready standard. You don't really need to highlight the silver if you don't want to because there's, there's only two silver details. But if you want to, go right ahead. So I really hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial on the Leagues of O10. Bye-bye.